In this video, I will present my current work about CISO2. This is an interactive tool for a single input and single output linear control system design. This project is being done over the umbrella of two organizations, Octave and Google Summer of Code, with an aiming to providing new features in control package. So, moving on to the project itself, the repository tool it's on GitHub for now, however, I will migrate to Mercurial as the Google Summer of Code period is over to invite other maintainers to help me keep it developing. So, to access the tool, let's see, GitHub slash Shervelton slash Octave Control. Uh, this website, the, the repository web page, can be found on the description of this video as well as in my blog. So, in order to download the tool, we basically can go to clone or download. The first method is to download zip and save to, desire, to the desired folder. Another option is to copy the link of the GitHub, go to the desired folder, open terminal. If you're not familiar with GitHub, git clone and pass the link and just type enter. As I already have the, the repository in, in this folder, I can go in Octave Control, the target, and we can find here this zip, fi this zip file that contains all the installation uh, files. So let's open Octave. So here we are. In order to install the tool, we need to, to, to access the installation folder that's located right here. Go to Active Control, Target, and here we are. So in order to install, we need to run this, uh, the, this, this code, pkg install and the name of the folder. This, this will take a few minutes, which I will skip in this video for the sake of time. So, but, so the next step is to load the package. In order to do that, we need to pkg load control. So here we are. So far, we already have downloaded, installed, and loaded the control package to our Octave. This it's, uh, has been already tested in Ubuntu and Windows and it, show, and it works fine. It's still pending the Mac OS testing. So, okay, to run the CISO2, we have to type GUI CISO2. This will open this window. And this interface, uh, here we have some menus, buttons, and fields to help to design a controller. First thing to do is to enter with the open loop transfer function of the plant. Uh, we can enter with any continuous type module. So here, let's use the zpk function with no zeros and so for this tutorial, I'm going to use a DC motor plant which consists in two poles and a little bit of gain. So here we are. In case we commit some mistake, it did appear some a message here to, to type with the new transfer functions. However, this is a valid transfer functions and Genet not present any error. So here we are. In this plot, we have the step response time. However, we also can show other three diagrams. The root lux, for example, if you type here in this radio button. Also, we can go to the top menu and type in view body diagram, for example. And also, we have the next right here. Uh, let's take a look careful in the root logs diagram. 
right here we can see the open loop pip pose and zeros as well the closed loop eigenvalues right here in the body diagram, we have the, loca the location of the poles and zeros, as well the gain and phase major, uh, margin informations. So let's. So now that we uh, already presented some features of the tool, let's design our first controller. First of all, let's just show the Hootlocks diagram, right here. So, in order to, to add a controller, let's add a pole, let's add, let's add a real pole, right here, and let's add also real zero, right here, here we go. So, we already added one zero, one pole. If we didn't like or if we made some mistake, we can delete the pole or zero, or we can also adjust the position of the filter. For example, if you want to change the position of this pole and put here in minus 15, just click and drag and release the button. And here we are, this zero is now in minus 15. So, okay, let's add one more zero right here all right so now we can see that you know so many informations that we cannot see really well what's the position of the poles and zeros so what we also can do it's type it's press the right quick quick quickly with the right button press edit compensator so here we are, we have our main windows, we have our diagrams, how to look diagrams, and we also have our edit controller. Here we have two real zero and one pole, so let's mod modify the, the location of the real pole to the orange, let's type zero. Note that we also have the damping and frequency information of the pole and zero. Here we have the gain, right here the current transfer function of the compensator. So let's also change this real zero to minus two, for example, and the other one to minus ten. Now we can also in increase a little bit the gain. Let's put a uh, thousand. Here we are. We have a better set the response time. Uh, actually, let's move a little bit more this real zero to the left. Okay, perfect. If you are happy with this transfer function, we can come here and save it it will save it to the workspace but if you are not happy and we still want to add more poles and zero or delete we, we still can come here in the, main, uh, in the main window and add the new features for example let's add a new complex pole so type add real complex pole also just one more observation if you go here to the top of the, the window the screen we can add complex pole and just press in the desired position. So here we are. If we go to the edit controller, we have it here the, the previous pole and zeros and also the complex pole that we can change the, the features such as the, the the position of the real part and also the imaginary part. Here we are. And also we can change the damping and the frequency according to the to the user. That's it. So to check our our controller, okay, let's close everything. And here we are. 
we have the controller point mat if you type it should. and here it's our controller that's it what I have so far I'm going to keep you guys posting in my blog in or in my web page and how the links will be provided in the description of this video below thank you so much 